I've been developing Star Wars Battlefront Scratch for half a year now. It's time to step up the game. Hey, I'm Leonard and I'm the guy behind Patrick Studio. Since I would guess most of you watching this would be new to the channel, welcome! I should probably also introduce the thing I'm talking about, so quick rundown of the history of this game. April 2020, EA released the last update for Battlefront 2. Somehow, I had the idea to make a Battlefront game in Scratch thereafter. Released it there on September 9th, 2020, a trailer just a few days later. It was originally only planned to have one class, the basic modes, however with the next two updates I also added more classes to it. After that I immediately began preparing for taking it an even bigger step further. I assembled a rather big team and over two months we added just a ton of stuff, skins, starfighters, maps, VFX, etc. When I released it on 20th of December it was 141 megabytes in size and had gathered a fanbase greater than what I'd expect. However, with all of this fucking stuff in it, it got really laggy, the code wasn't made to handle all of that, and the scratch resolution sucks. So, jump forward to 4th of February this year. I realized that another update wouldn't work, since turning computers into a burning hellhole wasn't really my idea of an epic scratch game. So, I had the idea of just yoinking the scratch game into Unity, however you can't just open it in there. We'll actually have to port it over to Unity by rewriting all of the code and all of that shit. But, there's a lot of stuff to use instead of the mess of code I had to write, and you can actually have decent graphics. It still is a goddamn ton of work though. But luckily I still had the dev team from the last update. Introducing Tom. This mad lad programmed stuff like this in Scratch. Also he knows Unity and is a master of keyboard mashing. He was all in and the very same day he set up the project. First time for me using Unity Collab to share and synchronize work. By the time I had Unity booted up, Tom had already set up the basic player movement with physics, big yes, and added basic bots. Second day he had implemented shooting before I even got out of my online lessons. Casually adding spawn points, knockback and line of sight, he was basically speedrunning the coding process. Next thing I knew he also had teams, then bada bing bada boom, names popped up above their head and after you die, the camera shows the stupid bot that sniped you from across the map. Since the enemies didn't move yet, it was easy for me. In the scratch version they were able to move but would get stuck everywhere. One of the ways why Unity is way cooler is that we can import a 2D pathfinding pack and whoosh, now they can hunt you down. The battles don't really look like Star Wars, so I picked up some free volumetric lines from the asset store and following a tutorial I replaced the line renderer with the blast effect. I hadn't touched C sharp in 5 months and well I did miss to delete a line in the blaster script, so it just casually floated in the air for a few seconds after hitting its target. But that was an easy fix. Anyway, they looked super cool. Big yes. Next thing that's also super annoying in the Scratch version was that you couldn't even look around from the fixed camera position. Now the camera smoothly offsets towards your mouse pointer to let you look around. Epic. Blaster sounds were next, with Tom performing some black magic with the sound manager. Now we have some QQ sounds. Then, different classes. So Tom made 4 prefabs with different stats like hit points, speed, fire rate, reloading time and playing around with them and actually gives it gameplay. Since shooting was hitscan you were getting damaged without even touching the shot effect. So Tom did his black magic keyboard mashing thing and now it's really cool. Since there's no max range on the guns you still get sniped from the other side of the map. Not very cool. To know who to get angry at, Tom added kill messages and then added a max range that affects how far you can look to, so the bots finally stop no scoping you from miles away. Bullets are not a thing in Star Wars, your weapon only heats up and can cool down over time, if you overheat though, you'll have to manually cool it down, so that's what we added next. 
I really wanted to add to the blaster shots, so I consumed a large quantity of milk and got to the Unity Particle system to make some impact particle effects. I only ever used out-of-the-box assets, so making one from scratch could really go either way. Using the volumetric lines as sparks and blasts and some smoke textures, I slapped together this particle effect that looks pretty f***ing sick in my opinion. The final things for this devlog were experimenting a bit with 2D lights, although we're not sure if and how we should use them, tweaking the enemies to stop moving on having line of sight and making the class menu automatically appear after you die. What we have so far is already looking pretty thick, and we're making good progress and next devlog should be pretty cool too. If you have any ideas or feedback, tell us in the comments. If you enjoyed, smash like, and if you want to follow the further development, then you should definitely subscribe with notifications on. Also join the Discord server, where I might stream from time to time, and if you want to try out the Scratch version, there's a link in the description. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Special thanks to my supporters BamFox and PlusOne, and of course the Battlefront dev team. You guys are epic.